your boy DJ Academics, and usually I don't take these seriously, but I've seen that TMZ is a pretty credible source. Now, they're saying that Aaron Hernandez, and we all know Aaron Hernandez, he's a former player of the New England Patriots, of the NFL. He used to be one of my favorite football players, but since then, he's been exposed to be nothing more than a buffoon who thought he was a real nigga. Now, you know what that means. It means he would rather face 25 years in jail rather than play football for $25 million. Yeah, th that dumbass. Now, if this is true, you morons need to be eliminated from this planet by any means necessary. And I, again, as I said, if this is true, which is the operative phrase, because even though I still put him in a game in men, he's still killing on and off the field, or he killed on... And off the, okay, whatever. Fuckery like this and highway flossing and showcasing of this level of buffoonery will not be tolerated. Now, TMZ is reporting that the 2012 drive-by double murder, which Aaron Hernandez has just recently been indicted on, because if you guys remember, it was pretty much a cold case, and then all of a sudden... Police said they found some type of clues and all type of evidence and they now linked it to Aaron Hernandez. But he, check this out. Apparently, the fucking clues that the police found that linked Aaron Hernandez to that murder in 2012, a double murder, you won't guess where they found him. No, yes, ladies and gentlemen, classic nigga shit. He tatted the clues on himself. Damn, 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 damn. I mean, even Steve from Blue's Clues did a better job of hiding clues. I mean, goddamn. Negroes and buffoons tatting up maps to scenes of murders, naming witnesses by tatting them on their skin. That's just an epic loss. Now, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, even though they have a great track record, I'm hoping TMZ is a little bit off with this. And I'm hoping they're reading too much into his skin art. Because if these new symbols that he acquired since 2012 that allegedly let police know or fill in the gaps for police in this double murder investigation, if this is actually true about Aaron Hernandez, that he tatted evidence on himself and apparently it's like a couple of stars and a couple other things that symbolize a whole bunch of nigga shit. I, I, I ain't got time to decipher it. I'm tired of feeling sorry for Aaron Hernandez. He's a gifted person. He's a talented person who took his talents and figured it was worth risking over trying to be a real nigga. Now he's sitting in jail. He's facing already one murder charge and now there's a double murder that's also been thrown on his plate. Not to mention he was in some type of assault with his some nigga that's in jail with him so we're gonna see what happens to that but come on Aaron Hernandez I really was kind of hoping that man maybe this is some type of mistake but then you got two murder charges on top of the one you already had now it's looking like is this are they coming at you or are they just out to get you or are you a fucking criminal now hearing you might have tatted evidence on your skin as I said before if these things are true good riddance but once again, you guys can weigh in on all this information. It's your boy DJ Academics. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys subscribe and definitely like. I'm out.